Tesco V, baby, get a pulse. Prince of Darkness? The hell's about to you, stud boy. Ooh. What's with the, the suicide gig, huh? Oh, I don't know, Sugar Daddy Lucifer. Life's just passing me by. All I ever wanted was a dip in egg nades of the blonde from Abba's gene pool, a job as towel boy for Tom Jones, and enough cabbage for vices and luxury items. You just sign this Scandinavian love god, and I'll go one better. A hectic... Hellbent trip around the U.S. of A. Choice, Dad, where do we start? Why, breakfast in Baltimore, of course. <laughs> Welcome to Baltimore, the hairdo capital of the world. Where you were say, check out this fun. We're dishing up Americana in the hot dog barn. Stays back to a rhythm in a comeback mode. Tag along as what you were say, moving down the road. Big fairy tale. Fallacy and travel law We're gobbling hot dong bag Chugging tons of grog I've been duty ticket Damsel synergy string days We're looting, cruising, boozing, cruising It's a weapon craze Time for city What we're searching for The rich get glitz Sudden carnivore Hey, weanbags and love bumps. I be Tesco V, the legendary meat man, a walking, talking barometer of modern culture, and your host for this extravaganza of cosmic fun and frolic. Prepare thyself for a hefty dollop of real Americana. Dig the buxotic bimbos undulating to the hedonistic tunage. And we'll be gobbling real food, lots of red meat, and deep fried everything. And can the yuppie tourist gig already? We'll be hanging with wacky funches, go to recreate, have safe sex, shake their post-punk booties, and ride hot rails in Kalamazoo. Crash and burn, baby cakes. Welcome to the Narcissus Room at the Pilot's Motel, located on scenic Pulaski Highway. A model neighborhood of video sodden master ass love bunk. It'll never fit. Ah, Baltimore. When you're here, baby, you don't use words like nuance, ambiance, or quaint. You need real adjectives like moxie, verve, and chutzpah to describe this place. I mean, you got bowling down at White Trash Magnet Lane. You got footlongs with crowd down at Blind Hank Steele's Weenie Roadhouse. It's the capital of sleep. What better place to kick off our debut show than here in Charm City? That's cool. You know, every morning I get up, take care of the three S's, flog the hug, feed the dogs, and hop into my high-performance Super B muscle car and head on out for a good old East Coast platter of eggs. We're talking baby chickens and mass. <laughs> so what's the deal with the extra eggs? Well, I, instead to say I give two eggs or three eggs like I does years ago, this year, I'm thinking to say, I, I'm going to give as many eggs as you like to eat with no extra charge. This is the deal for Le Le good Grill. Yeah, give me this scrapple, the Italian sausage, the ham, the bacon, and a couple dozen over easy. If my heart stops, kick me in the chest.
Dear Mom, having fun in Satan's legions. Wish you were here. Ever since I sold my soul, life has been so hot. Tonight, we're going dancing. Hope my meringue isn't rusty. Oh well, gotta go paint the town red. Ha! Love, Tesco. Hi, Tesco. Welcome to Together Dating. What's shaking, Fun Buns? You're looking choice. Well, Tesco, we are the largest service in the country, and we have over 70 offices across the U.S. There's over 70,000 members, and we have eight offices right in the Baltimore, Washington area, okay? Now, we don't use any type of videos or computers. What will happen is you and I will develop a rapport between us, and I will introduce you to the types of women that you want to meet, okay? So, Tesco, what are you looking for in a date? Coitus. <laughs> First of all, Mr. V, I suggest that you lose the fur. Now, getting back to your preference. Well, you know, well-endowed, body, robust, a little sweaty, fair of hair, you know, ebony. Ebony? You mean... I'm way into black women. Tesco V! Crank it up a notch, pencil neck! It's happy hour at the Inferno! Surf's up on the river sticks, and my goat needs a milk it. I don't know, Diablo. I'm lower than a slug's butt. Oh, what's the matter, huh? Aren't you enjoying the fruit you get down, nation? I've had a bowl full, but, but I'm lonely. A criminy weed bag. What you need is a date for the DNA ball. <laughs> so there I was on a dream date with the biggest starlet in Baltimore, Miss Jean Hill, prize filly in the John Waters stable and first lady of the greeting card industry. So I asked her, Jean, what about Ed Meese and this smut report thing? I've never seen a man that I couldn't have. Why, well, I saw you walking up the street and said I must have him as my slave. You see, you think you are a computer date. But darling, I put my roots in you. I don't know whether it's the fat or the funk or the ambiance, but all men are attracted this, to this 448 pounds. You see, darling, you will be mine for as long as I want you. So then I asked her, Jean, I'm famished. Got anything moist and meaty? My wish, oh, my wish is that people would see people as people. Not fat, black, old, young. Just wonderful, wonderful people. Enjoying themselves, making money, feeling good about themselves. Just being who you are and what you want to be. I always dreamed of being a model. It took me until I was 448 pounds to become a model. By now it was obvious that I was falling in love. My heart was pumping. My pet king snake was turgid. My nostrils were flared. I saw myself as Mr. Tesco Hill. It would be a marriage made in heaven, or at least Glenn Burney. You know, you only go around three or four times, so it's gotta be special. There's more bridal shops than 7-Elevens in this sweeping necropolis. So if you're looking for that extra touch of choice, you've got no choice. It's La Fontainebleau Bridal Mall in Glen Burney. This Taj Mahal of matrimony has everything from coach lamps to lime green tuxedos and the banquet room. Sheer understated elegance. The finest VFW hall pales by comparison. Let me tell you about the bird and the... Tesco V, as a buck private in the squadron of doom, you must bear the brand of your benefactor. Huh? You know, uh, skin graffiti, uh, meat bureau, uh, a tattoo. I'm there, but, but do they serve chili? Oh! <laughs> I love cable. Remember, hon, Satan's jumping through a ring of fire with Jesus right on his tail. Okay, okay, I'm still working on the ring. How's the chili? Wicked good, babe. So anyway, I got this beautiful woman tattooing my right butter. I got a bowl of award-winning chili in my face. I'm spinning into another dimension.
So you get the locals that come in and go down on that stuff? Yeah, yeah, everybody comes. Uh, we got one guy comes in a lot. He's a cheerleader type fella from the stadium, Bill Hagee. He's uh, the Wild Bill Hagee. Yeah, the Wild Bill Hagee. A Baltimore Orioles fan. Yeah, and uh, he comes in, you know, he likes to go for the hot stuff. There was one time he was in with a couple friends. And he's, you know, he's going for the belly burn stuff, you know, just dosing it down good. And he wants, you got anything hot, Rick? I said, yeah, no problem, Bill. Because we got the industrial grade stuff in the kitchen, you know, we use in cooking. And it's just too strong to put out here. People eat it, they just would try it. And, you know, we have, you know, casually, so it's no good. So he says, uh, yeah, all right. So I'll bring him a little bit out in a cup. Well, I thought he was going to, like, put it on his chili. He threw it back like a shot. <laughs> Came out of that booth. Did a little dance around the floor and like his face got red and he broke out in a severe sweat and he said man i ain't never asked for nothing hot here again he said no problem cool daddy <laughs> no not so much cool is hot this is hot stuff hot stuff so elaine do you have any advice for any aspiring prize winning chili chef tattoo artist no and after dinner dancing with paul taylor at the mighty Wurlitzer. I'd like to say good evening to each and every one of you here at the Beltway Lounge and welcome. Thank you, thank you. We'd like to welcome you all here tonight and we hope that you all have a nice evening here with us. And if there's any special occasions in the audience, birthdays, anniversaries, be sure to send them up. We'll play a special song and also a special introduction. I'd like something in a frosty floral confectionery cocktail. And don't skimp on the impaled fruit. A way hefty injection of balls out Arthur Murray mayhem, don't you think? My ventures took me from Buffalo all the way to New York City with the Holiday Inn organizations. And when I got into New York City, the man that hired me had a heart attack and died. I'll tell you, Baltimore, when I first came here, I was scared. I really was. I didn't know what I was coming into. I had no, I have never been to Baltimore in my life. But these, a lot of these people go to dancing school just to learn how to dance again. And they come in here and they like to do the meringue and a cha-cha and an upbeat number, a swing beat number. It's a variety of music and my whole repertoire is made up of a complete variety of, of music from the top to the old. And this is way, the way the crowd goes here at the Beltway. You know, we proceed in an endless miasma of homogenous top 40. And although it seems inescapable, there is another dimension. The swinging sounds of lusty loungers like Dean Martin, Andy Williams, and Tom Jones are alive and well and living in your locale. Simply strap on your crushed velvet high top curb crawlers and head on down to the Hell David group of your neighborhood Holiday Inn. Or do like the natives do and rub the great white checky butt. Ooh. Hey, oh wow, what can I say but... Welcome to my world. I must say, you've been one hell of a dynamite audience tonight. And before we go <coughs> any further with tonight's show, I'd just like to say this. And this is something that I feel must be said. I'd like to thank each and every one of you clowns for allowing a cat like me to become a part of your family, if only for a short while this evening. You see, I spent my formative years growing up in a series of foster homes and state institutions. So you're like the only real family I've ever had, and well, you're, you're pretty damn special to me, okay? But sometimes I find myself all alone in a, a motel room somewhere, asking myself this, well, this, this poignant question. What kind of fool am I? Ventura, the Adonis from Paramus, who consummate pro and a beautiful human being. He's heaven sent, but his soul's hell bent. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> 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 
Yeah. Holy mackerel! <laughs> uh. Hello, everyone. Welcome to 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 Hello, Everyone. Just press this secret button right here, and a replica of an authentic Western pistol pops out and fires. It's your secret weapon, even when they think you're unarmed. So get Ideal's new Roy Rogers quick shooter hat at your favorite store today, and you'll always be ready for anything. Ask for Ideal's new Roy Rogers quick shooter hat. I mean, once in a while, life deals you a good hand. What can I say? I got my dizzy stick. I got a hot tub full of Dutch beer. I got the new issue of Buck Naked Karate Girls. I mean, I feel about as happy as the Hager twins look. John Waters, Baltimore's primary export and the world's second finest filmmaker. Often referred to as the new Disney for his bold use of a similar mustache, Waters makes films for the entire family, if your family is not well. <laughs> I'm s scared in my shopping malls. I'm scared uh, in places where everybody wants to be like everybody else because I, I can't imagine that feeling and it makes me very nervous. Now, when I was a kid, all I wanted to do was go to amusement parks all the time. Uh, that was my favorite thing to do was go to an amusement park and I always fantasize an accident happening for some reason so I could just stand there like a little ghoul and see like the octopus car fly off. Never happened, but I was always secretly kind of hoping it would. And I'd force my parents to go on the rides with me and they hated them and would get sick and everything. So, you know, it wasn't a great thing for my parents. It wasn't a great family vacation, but I always loved it the most. Highways are kind of scary because you have to stop at those Betsy Ross service areas and stuff, which are really horrifying, I think. And everybody looks so ugly, including myself. I mean, you go in there you, after you've been on the road, and it's really like Night of the Living Dead, and you have to eat, like, you know, plastic food and look at really scary families and stuff. So that's pretty a horrible way to travel, I think. And I like to look at the videos they have because they have the most violent videos that I've never even heard of. <laughs> I don't know how, who's the buyer for the 7-Eleven video department is. Dogs make me nervous when their lips touch my flesh and my blood turns to ice water. I used to make my sister go to Elvis Presley movies and scream like she was a fan for no reason. And she didn't even like Elvis Presley. So then I said, you have to scream. And this is in the 50s when Elvis first came out. Because I had read about the girls did this in theaters, right? So, but they didn't in suburban Baltimore. My poor sister would just have to sit there and scream. And, and people would just look at her like she was crazy. But I wanted to make it more of an event that I had read about in Life magazine that this happened at Elvis Presley movies. Mosquito bites on the ankle is a, is a definite beauty mark of the white trash look in the summer. Sitting in your chair out front of your house watching TV with just a bra on is another pretty good giveaway. You really can see Baltimore when it's really hot. All the stuff that the Chamber of Commerce tries to hide because it comes from within their houses out into the street because it's too hot to be inside. So uh, it's a great time to ride around Baltimore in certain neighborhoods and really see uh, certainly the look about Baltimore that has influenced me in my films is very more evident in the summer. One arm is a big look here sometimes. No, I don't. <laughs> Nothing against the man, but I don't, I don't believe I own any Tom Jones records. No. Come to Papa. Woo! Work it. Go, baby. Go. Oh, that's it. Do it. Now do it. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. White girls! Yo, purveyor of all its evil. Let's go to Ethiopia and drop diet pills in the water supply. Yeah, we did that last week. We could go to New Delhi and pick fights with lepers. Yes, your soul, Tesco. I'm in the mood for something tawdry, titillating, and tempestuous. Let's go to Baltimore, hoist the highball, and watch dancing devil babes jockey for position in your inner sanctum. Bingo! The block, Baltimore's equivalent of heaven. I met a girl who told me she's a dancer. A prettier girl I've never seen before. I went to the theater 
to see her What a shock when I opened up the door She was dancing the bump bump bumpity bump The audience was going wild She looked at me and threw me a kiss Singer, baby, singer. Brazen new bows, bumping and grinding in a friendly postmodern bordello decor, and at no cover charge. Criminy, it costs twenty-two cents to write home to mother. Something to drink, pig. Perhaps a cola uh, poured from your studded latex boot, miss. Dark Lord, you weave a magnetic web. Learn to pick up the recruiting techniques. Used to sell Amway. So where do you look for converts? Oh, well, yeah, you have your basic sex offender, um, politicians, uh, video evangelists. But I like to peruse the yuppie chain restaurants. Chocos, dimples, nipples, rump roast charlies. You know, places like that. So uh, who you got lately? Oh, we got this one guy who's burning up the lounge at the Hades Trump Hotel and Casino. But you wouldn't know him. <laughs> I'm thirsty. You're a soft drink, Mr. V. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to get serious for a moment and discuss a serious subject. Burgers, bags of burgers, from one of Maryland's holiest institutions, the little tavern shop. My whole face starts watering when I cop a gander at this prize flesh of scorching. Push down a sack of these gut bombs and your belly's glowing hot and satisfied. Mmm, a taste-tempting treat. And centrally located in the theater district. But you know what, white trashers? Even a hate-loving enemy of society like myself, Tesco V, occasionally requires stimulation of a more classical nature. Something more mature. Righteous thread. Oh, cool. Kent's of Broadway, pre apocalyptic streetwear for the discriminating bimbo in all of us. Uh, Eleanor, you got these in a size 14? Oh, just a second. Let me check. Do you have anything I could be friends with? Oh, I have just a thing for you.
raised as kids, right? Oh my God, that gay shit is evil. It's the devil's work, you know. Well, I think Tesco likes the devil. When Mr. Sandman's relentless knocking won't let me sleep, a bedtime story often provides a moment's respite from my bent and twisted psyche. Oh, my favorite, The Police Blotter, by Richard Irwin of The Evening Sun. It, 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 had, to do with, it had to do with my, uh, the suit I, I got married in, and uh, I, it was a shooting on uh, Merlin Avenue several years ago. And I got there, it was a hot summer's day, and uh, walked up into the, uh, into the apartment, and on the second or third floor was an elderly man sitting in a, sitting in a chair in his bedroom, and uh, he was dead. And they knew he had shot himself in the left side of the head, and the bullet went out the right side of his head and bounced off the radiator, and it hit the wall and fell behind another radiator. And they eventually found the bullet, but they, they never did find the gun, and yet they were satisfied it was a suicide. And uh, so everything was going fine, you know, I was standing here taking notes, and the um, corpse was sitting right there in front of me. And all of a sudden, the medical examiner's team came in, and they, they moved this man. They picked him up. Uh, he had been dead for several hours before he was found. And then that, all of a sudden, that, that odor came up from the decomposition, and it just saturated everybody in the room, including me and, and my the suit that I had on. It was the one that I was married in. And no matter how many times you dry cleaned it, every time you put it on, especially during the warm weather and the heat of your body, out it comes. And you just have to chuck it away. It was a, it was a really a nice produced suit. This police blotter column that I write, uh, it has numerous shootings on any given day in Baltimore City by, by kids 12, 14, 15 years old shooting other teenagers or holding people up. Uh, and they turn out to be real guns, not necessarily toy pistols. And the cops catch up to them, and they find that these kids are in possession of real firearms. They usually get them from burglaries, you know, people who have the guns in their homes and make them readily available to anybody who breaks in. And, uh, that's a tremendous problem in any big city. Well, I, I belong to the NRA. <laughs> no, no, not the bludgeon of hate. Hi, Tesco. Welcome to Dwarfman Museum Figures, where we make the figures for wax museums. So, uh, where do you get these, uh, the lifelike uh, quality of these figures? Well, we sculpt the heads out of clay using photographs and references and drawings and descriptions. So, I guess it has nothing to do with the cemetery across the street. And after the heads are sculpted, we cast them in a plexiglass mold. Mm -hmm using vinyl plastic and after the heads are baked in the oven we put the hairs in one at a time usually implanted and we use the eyes that are made from um, glass that humans would use if they would use an eye i saw this guy on a milk cart okay i'm ready to place my order i want a gene rayburn uh frank gorshin as the riddler uh, Liberace, I'm gonna miss Lee, uh, and a Dolly Parton. She's gonna be extra. You're telling me. <laughs> uh, uh, what's the total? $42,000. Chicken feed, I'm a rock star. Your wake up call, Mr. V. Whoa, what a dream sequence. I've soiled myself. What I need is a hot shower, a mental floss, 
and a spiritual cleansing by the Reverend Hazel Cassell on WEAA Radio in Baltimore. 15,000 watts of faith healing power on the Chesapeake Bay. In 1970, I was doing faith healing. I was doing laying on, on of hands on a man about 40 years of age. And I felt compelled to just pray harder and harder and harder. And as I was doing it, strange voices started coming out of this man. And I continued to pray over this man for about uh, 30 to 40 minutes. I had at least four different entities come from this man. Um, about two hours later, I realized that I had expelled the forces from the man but that at least one of these spirits had entered a little girl. And this is how my exorcism healing started. I see the Meat Men as very successful band in Las Vegas and doing very, very well. Ciao, Hazel, who loves you, babe? Purified, purged, cleansed, but saddened, for tis bittersweet to must leave this fair city of Baltimore. But I know the memory will last forever, because I got it on video. Still no junket of this nature is complete without some large ceramic useless doodad to further clutter the prefab modular mobile unit that I call home. Come back soon if you made it out alive. <laughs>